Distinguished guests, I would like to commend President Biden for convening this summit within 100 days of taking office. And I welcome the commitments to reduce emissions announced by so many countries. It is clear that the level of commitment to fight climate change has never been higher. This is excellent news. But I will be blunt. Commitments alone are not enough. We need real change in the real world. Right now, the data does not match the rhetoric. And the gap is getting wider and wider. Our latest estimates for global emissions in 2021, this year, are a warning for humanity. Emissions are on track for their second largest increase in the history. We are not recovering from COVID in a sustainable way. And we remain on a path of dangerous levels of global warming. Yet, there are grounds for optimism. Electricity generated from renewables, solar, wind, and others, will break records this year and the sales of electric cars will reach another record high. But getting to net zero emissions requires much more than that. We will need to transform our entire energy system. This means drastically cutting emissions from trucks, ships, and planes. We will also need to do the same for steel and cement factories, chemical plants, and in farming. We have today many technologies at our disposal. Energy efficiency, solar, wind, electric cars, nuclear power, and many more. And we need to deploy these as quickly as possible. However, IEA analysis shows that about half the reductions to get to net zero emissions in 2050, will need to come from technologies that are not yet ready for market today. This calls for massive leaps in innovation, innovation across batteries, hydrogen, synthetic fuels, carbon capture, and many other technologies. On 18th of May, only a few weeks from now, the International Energy Agency will release a roadmap for how the global energy sector can reach net zero by 2050. Make no mistake, this is a Herculean task. Participants to this summit have used the occasion to make new announcements. Let me add one from the IEA. According to our upcoming roadmap, reaching net zero will triple clean energy investment opportunities over the next decade. This will generate millions of well-paid jobs and create the industries of the future. But our priority is to make sure these benefits reach as many people as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to work all together to achieve our goals and create a better future for all of us. There are exciting things happening, unbelievable things happening. But as Dr. Biro reminded us, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a community of nations writ large, we are not getting the job done. And what President Biden decided when he determined to have this, this, this uh, summit was the key must be the raising of ambition. Country after country has stepped up. But the test is going to be uh, not in the rhetoric, as Dr. Birol said. It's going to be in whether or not we really buckle down and get this done. 